MailChimp is a great tool to manage and organize customer email lists, uh, email campaigns, or any type of email blast that you'd like to send out to your customers. If you've been keeping a list of customers along with their email addresses, this video might be helpful to you. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to export your customer list from Cashier Live and then teach you via MailChimp training videos how to import that list and email all of your customers. Just make sure that when you take your customer's email address, they understand that you might be emailing them information about your store. So the first thing that we need to do is export our customer list. To do that, click on the Reports tab. Then under the Customer List item, click Excel. Click Run Report. And this will download our Excel file. So I open this in Excel and you can see here I don't have a lot of customers and a lot of the information is, is just bogus for test purposes and training purposes. But this is what yours will look like, something like this. Now there's two ways that you can adjust this data to import it within MailChimp. MailChimp has a great tool where you can just upload this exact file and then select which columns you want to include in your email campaign. For instance, if you're only interested in taking a customer's first name, last name, and email address, you can choose to import only those. And the MailChimp tutorial videos will walk you through that process. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to get rid of it here in Excel and if you're interested in that. It's very simple, just a matter of deleting some columns. So I only want my customer's first names, last names, and email addresses. So I'll just highlight any columns that I'm not interested in, and I can right-click and select Delete. I'll have some more columns that I need to get rid of here. I'll just do the same process. So now I have three columns with first name, last name, and email address. When I import these into MailChimp, MailChimp should recognize automatically that uh, one of the fields is for email addresses, and it might ask you which column is the person's first name and which is their last name. After that, simply save the file. You're going to want to save as, excuse me, and under Save As Type, make sure you select Excel 97 to 2003 Workbook. And I'll just save that as Customer List and now I'm ready to import within MailChimp. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, there is a link to MailChimp in the description. If you're watching this on our knowledge base, there is also a link below the video to uh, MailChimp and how to get started with an account there and point you to the training videos.